Finally this evening from Massachusetts, the ever-changing language of a great country. We're spending a lot of time on the road this year in search of America, which for us means listening to and then retelling the stories of this unique nation. We like to get off the beaten path when we can. There is always something. As we found in Springfield, Massachusetts, when we called on the people who work at the dictionary that Noah Webster began. This is the language of America. They just don't believe the dollarization is the answer. <laughs> dude, where's your car? <laughs> dude, it's not funny, dude. The car is gone. A music video, a college professor, and the movie clip have something in common. They are all speaking American. At the headquarters of Merriam-Webster's Dictionary in Springfield, Massachusetts, the people who compile the classic American dictionary keep track of how the language is always changing. They spend their days scouring newspapers, magazine books, and the web for new words and new meanings of American words. Fat. <laughs> P-H-A-T. Pretty hot and tempting. Our sources indicate that it was an acronym in the beginning standing for pretty hips and thighs. The first great champion of American, Noah Webster, believed that a great nation had to have its own language. American has been richly enhanced by wave after wave of immigration. The Dutch settlers, for example, gave us cookie, from koekje, meaning a small cake. Webster published the first genuinely American dictionary in 1806. It had 37,000 entries. New social structures and a new physical world um, uh, were being encountered in, in, in the new world, and it just required new language to describe it all. It still does. Netiquette. Netiquette is etiquette on the internet. Okay. American school children can thank Noah Webster for making it easier to spell than British English. Webster changed music to music. Center, R-E, to center, E-R. And plow to plow. He did not convince people that tongue should be spelled T-U-N-G or women spelled W-I-M-M-I-N. Every year, the dictionary that Webster began includes the new words that people are using enough to become standards. We've added uh, hottie, meaning uh, somebody very attractive, and booty, meaning buttocks, and noogie, the prank of uh, rubbing your knuckles on somebody's head. Hottie, booty, noogie. Although Noah Webster was a stern and humorless man in life, he would be pleased to see that Americans honor his work by adapting their language constantly. And that is our report on World News Tonight. Tomorrow we will be in Philadelphia, another city so central to the American experience. You know, they still teach Benjamin Franklin in business school. I'm Peter Jennings. Have a good evening and good night from Boston.